Hello and welcome to the channel. This is ZP Funk and today we're going to be doing a Wi-Fi signal penetration test with the DJI Spark. Um, I always wanted to know what would happen if I flew the Spark on the opposite side of a building and had to land it. Um, I don't really even know what reason there would be that you have to do that, but I'm going to try it out anyway. So I'm flying it over this building which no doubt is full of different Wi-Fi signals, um, different radio interference of all kinds, not to mention the structure of the building and the metal inside of it, blah, blah, blah. Um, down here, you'll see my girlfriend. I asked her to come help me with this. She didn't really want to, but she did anyway, so that's a plus. Um, she is going to guide us down to the ground as best as she can making sure that no one's coming, that I'm not going to just get smashed by a car. Um, so, here I am. Balls to the wall, I'm going to land it. And, boom. Everything seems good. And, let's try to take it back off again. Motor started up. Boom, we're taking off. But it, you'll notice that the home point has now updated to where I just took off from. So, it's something to keep in mind if that magical reason that you had to land it popped up that's something to remember um on top of that when i first took off i didn't have my gps turned on on my phone and i'm flying uh, i think i was flying otg i think i was flying with the otg cable but regardless i didn't have it on so when i go in here to try to update my home point to my current location it's telling me now. I could have updated the quadcopter, the Spark, to its location that it was currently at, but I was trying to get myself. So I turned on my GPS on my phone. Still wasn't working. So something to keep in mind, if you are going to do something ridiculous like this, for whatever reason, make sure your GPS on your phone or your device is on before you take off. Now, here's the second time I go back out. And what I'm doing this time is I'm gonna try to take it out past this metal car cover so that way I can see if the interference, which normally does have a little bit of problem around metal like that, I wanna see if I can still function uh, or if the spark still functions beyond that point. Um, I was gonna keep going to the dumpster over there and for some reason I decided, ah, you know what, I'll just hold off on that for a second. And I turned around drop it down and I got this weird feeling like I need to turn it around because I feel like I was going to hit something and that's when I saw them I did not know these people were there and that is the ultimate downside to flying out of your line of sight had I not stopped when I did I could have very well injured someone or I could I don't know I don't want to think about the worst it didn't happen but that's something definitely that should deter you from ever doing any of this. She was there to tell them, but I didn't know she told them, and I didn't know they were there because she couldn't yell that all at the same time back and forth to me. Regardless, it didn't happen. Flying it on the other side of a building, unless you're a spy or something, is a terrible idea, and you're probably going to be found out pretty quickly because the spark is not quiet by any means any standards I don't know maybe a herd of elephants or something maybe a stampeding herd of elephants the spark then becomes a quiet I don't know what I'm saying I tried it out so you don't have to and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video stay tuned for more content peace